Hey everyone! Today let's explore a fascinating geological discovery in the American Southwest. Three brand new minerals found amid the rocky cliffs and old mines near Cook's Peak, New Mexico. On a rugged peak around 8,400 feet up, a team of geologists unearthed three minerals never before recorded by science, radomarkite, virgiluethite, and stunorthropite. Each is unique in chemistry and structure, and their discovery brings the known total of minerals on Earth to 5,998, an impressive number given how rarely scientists identify legitimate newcomers. Cook's Peak has always been a hot spot for mineral richness. Its granite core once channeled hydrothermal fluids loaded with elements like lead, zinc, silver, and fluorite. Over time, pockets of oxidized cavities also became rich in molybdenum, setting the perfect stage for rare molybdic acid-based minerals to form naturally. Let's dig into each discovery. Radomarkite appears as sprays of slender, flexible needles, each about a millimeter long and surprisingly bendable without breaking. Chemically, it's Mu3H2O, the natural sibling of a synthetic compound made in labs back in 1903. Its crystal structure forms from double chains of Mu5H2O octahedra connected only by hydrogen bonds, which explains that fascinating flexibility. Virgiluthite shows up as yellow-green plates that grow over earlier crystals. It's also Mu3H2O, but it takes shape in a layer-like monoclinic structure, similar to tungstite. In fact, it often replaces the earlier mineral sidwillite while keeping its shape, a perfect natural pseudomorph. Stunorthropite has a complex chemistry, nh 44 or mo 2 x mu 4 2 these stubby, milky blades are small but significant, spotlighting the late-stage ammonium activity in Cook's Peak system. The name honors Dr. Stuart A. Northrup, a New Mexico geology professor whose work helped unlock the region's mineral history. Why does this matter? Discovering a new mineral isn't just trivia. It helps refine geological models, resource assessments, and even planetary formation theories. Each new mineral reveals how elements behave under specific conditions and guides future scientific and industrial efforts. Plus, finding natural versions of minerals once only seen in labs gives researchers valuable insight. Lab-made compounds may not fully mirror how nature forms them. But now, with natural samples of radomarkite and virgiluithite, scientists can compare theory with reality, examining differences in impurities, bonding, and lattice structures that happen deep below Earth's surface. Great news for curious minds and collectors. You can actually see these minerals on display at the New Mexico Mineral Museum in Socorro. Radomarkite, virgiluethite, and stun orthropite are all there, letting visitors experience what it's like when Earth lines up the perfect conditions for something new. So next time you think about the building blocks of our planet, remember, even now, new minerals are still being born and uncovered. Tiny atomic wonders shaped by hydrothermal fluids, temperature shifts, and geological events. Cook's Peak might hold more surprises waiting under hand lens or microscope. Which of these new minerals sparks your curiosity the most? The flexible needles of radomarkite, the layered pseudomorph of virgilithite, or the ammonium-rich stun orthropite blades? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear which one fascinates you. If you enjoy videos like this, hit subscribe and ring the bell for more stories from the frontier of science. See you next time.